And I'm Stefan Dingle. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's get your day started with your forecast. Let's check in with meteorologist Matt Losevich. How's it going? Our top story this morning, the investigation continues into the cause of this deadly house explosion in Jeffersonville. Officials say at least five homes are unlivable and more than 12 sustained at least some damage. The American Red Cross is helping people who can't stay in their homes. More than a dozen people stopped by the Red Cross shelter Sunday for food and support. In other news we're following this morning, Metro Police are investigating after a shooting victim shows up at a Kroger in West Louisville. Police say the man was shot in the Victory Park area Sunday afternoon, then drove himself to Kroger at 27th and Broadway. That's right, the officers were charged last week after a sweeping months-long investigation. Prosecutors say these six officers were paid for private security jobs while still on the clock for their regular patrol shifts. That security company was created by one of the officers who officials say tried to destroy evidence when it appeared he'd been exposed. Tonight, the Louisville Metro Council will hold its third and final public budget hearing. Mayor Greg Fisher's proposed budget includes $25 million in cuts, which he says are necessary because of the city's rising pension obligation. You're watching WLKY Morning News. Hey there, welcome back. Coming up on 440 here on your Monday morning. Uh, Matt, yesterday there was a, we had a kind of hit and miss all day without or with right. the rain. Uh, hopefully we get some clearing today. It's shaping up to be a good one. Yeah. It's 442 now. President Trump is issuing a stern warning to Iran on Sunday. The president tweeted, tweeted that if there was a battle with the U.S., it would be, quote, be the official end of Iran, end quote. He also added, quote, never threaten the United States again. This tweet arrives amid concerns over possible military action between the U.S. and Iran. Officials in Washington, meanwhile, are going over recent intelligence that says Iran and its allies might be planning an attack on the U.S. It's 445 now. Avengers Endgame was finally shot down at the weekend box office. Ten one paying off your student loans. Listen, on social media, so many people were excited for them. I'm excited for them. Congrats to them. We were all like... How about those, how about the people who are like three hours away from graduating? <laughs> or they graduate in the you fall. You know, and they're like, I'll get it done in the <laughs> summer. Newville's baseball team takes the number one spot heading into the ACC tournament this week. The Cards wrapped up their season with a win over Florida State this weekend. The Cards will travel to Durham, North Carolina today. Their first game is set for Wednesday against 12th seed at Boston College. Last year, Louisville advanced to the tournament finals, and they say that experience helps them this time around. Well, today is the start of a new era for CBS This Morning. In bed by 11 o'clock, you wake up at Normal 7 o'clock, you got your eight hours in. Meanwhile, someone who has to wake up, I don't know, in the pre-dawn hours didn't get much sleep because <laughs> he watched that show watch that I haven't liked nats. the whole season on. Well, Matt, <laughs> bravo for showing up to work. We are so <laughs> proud of you. Matt, thank you. 624 is your time now. Coming up tonight, Celine Dion jumps into the car with James Corden for some primetime carpool karaoke. Yeah, these artists are based in different parts of the country, but their work is sold at the shop in French Lick. Our Alex Durham joins us live at the local woodcarver who is hopefully making some progress on our bear or whatever it's supposed to be. Look at this detail, Jason. That is awesome. We're getting wow. closer. We we're, are getting closer. And we're not done. You heard that. So there's more to come oh, next wow. time. We are mesmerized. Wow. That is awesome. And the fur <laughs> on that bear. Oh, my God. Incredible. Awesome. Thank you, Alex. We'll check back in with who you in a little like bit. Who feels like a bear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>